opportunity to welcome you to our 30th year class meeting. Remember, but I hope to get to know you again tonight before it's over. Um, after months of secret meetings, social gatherings, and several amaretta sours on my part, we have finally made it to this wonderful day, our 30 year reunion. I realize that we are we had a large graduating class, and I look forward to reminiscing about our high school days and hearing about your life journey for the past 30 years. I'm sure everyone remembers Kitty Day, Prom Day, etc., Ribbon Day, but do anybody remember Sadie Hawkins Day? Hell yeah. Yeah, I, do everybody remember Sadie Hawkins Day dance? Yes. I got married that day. I never did get divorced, and I did not see my husband. <laughs> but there was someone, uh, I believe Bernard Campbell was performing the wedding ceremony, and they were also doing divorces that day. And I remember that at the end of that day, my husband went home to his house, I went home to my house, and I said, this all it is for marriage? I think I can do this. I was so naive. I was so naive. Little did I know, you know, that it was like a tall glass of cold water splashing in my face, a reality to wake me up from that naivety, that fairy tale. So after high school, I figured I had it all figured out. The path I was going to take, the things I was going to do. But as John Lennon of the Beatles says, life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. I've always dreamed of being surrounded by a man who's going to answer and do my every bidding and whim. Yeah, I do have men. They're my sons, four of them. And they don't do anything that I ask them to do without a lot of force pushing and banging their heads. But I realize that that's one of those things that you need to be careful what you ask for, because you just might not get just exactly what you ask for. I compare my sons, one of my sons' high school experience to some of ours, which some of us the same and some wasn't. I had a son that graduated from high school just last year, and it was during the time that the high schools now decided to pull all junk food from the menu. So my son came home one day and he says, Mama, can we go to Sam's and buy some candy so I can sell it at school? I figured, I said, um, are you gonna pay for the candy? He said, not at all. I figured you would give me the money for it and you would help me, you know, pay for the candy. I said, Okay, does the school allow you to sell candy? And if so, how do you plan on doing this? He said, not at all. The school don't allow us to sell candy, and I plan on selling it on a Lolo. Immediately a scene from Lenny from Good Times that always say my name is Lenny, I got plenty, and he's walking around like a coat pop over, and I just knew my son was gonna be one of those Lennies. So I was like, you know, some things just really never change. Um, he never did do the candy sale because the school did not allow it, so I said, no, no, you're not going to do it. But um, I hope that everyone will enjoy tonight's celebration and that it leaves a wonderful and positive impression that you can add to your memories and the joys that you have had at O'Fallon Technical High School. And I look forward to spending each, spending time with every one of you, hopefully, and I will see you all on the dance floor. I'm sorry, I keep kicking this thing. Uh, we would like to have Cesarine Ginger come to the mic and do a blessing. If you don't mind having just a little bit of church on a Saturday evening, I wish somebody knew how far God really brought us. Some of us know we just cleaned up tonight. But if we told years ahead. Oh, I wish somebody would tell the truth in God's house. Amen. If you don't mind, why don't you just rest on your feet for a few minutes. Why don't you stand to your feet and just grab that person that's next to you. If you would grab them by their hand and just hold them. But I want you to do something special. I know we do this in our churches, but I'm going to ask you to squeeze a little bit tighter. 
because you don't know, but tw 10 years ago at our 20th reunion, we've lost so many people. And I just want that person to feel that you appreciate them. You're thanking God that they made it. That you're thanking God that they've made it. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we bless you so much for just allowing us to assemble in this place at this hour to celebrate such a momentous occasion in our lives. God, it's momentous because you brought us this far. Oh God, we've come so far from walking the halls of a Fallon Technical High School. You brought us so far from catching the bus from Kings Highway in McCree. You've brought us so far, God, that we don't have to go to Mr. Washington's gym class. But God, we thank you so much, oh God, that we don't have the answer to uh, Miss Fountain, God. We thank you so much, oh God, that you brought us through. God, some of us remember our days in gospel choir, and we remember Miss Hughes telling us to sing louder, sing better, be proud, lift up your head. God, we didn't know that life would lead us to days when we would have to learn to lift up our heads. Oh God, we bless you right now for just allowing us to make it this day. Some of us might still have to get on by state to make it to and fro, but we learned how by being students at O'Fallon Technical High School. God, we thank you. Dear Father, in 30 years, many of us have experienced so many tragedies in our lives. In 30 years, some of us have lost our parents. Some of us have even lost our children, oh God. Tonight we celebrate the life you've allowed us to lead, God, and we thank you, dear Father, for just allowing us to continue to lead godly lives. God, I know that just two colors, if they're just red and gray, we're going to make it, God, but I'm celebrating the real true colors, God, that you dipped us in your red blood and we came out white as snow, Father, and for that our dark, deep sins are forgiven, and God, we say thank you in this house. Now, God, the hand that I hold to my right, to my left, have experienced things I don't know about. Maybe it's divorce. Maybe it's devastation. Homelessness, God. We don't come here acting like 30 years we've been unscathed. And maybe it's addiction, oh God. But we come here tonight to say thank you. Oh God, we lift up our heads in this place. And we look to you, dear Father, to continue to push us along the way. We didn't come here just to act like we've been You've been with us along the way. God, sickness. Oh, God, sickness. Oh, God, sickness. You brought us through it. Lonely days, you brought us through it. Some of us have had to go through with disobedient children. You brought us through it. But God, right now, we're going to pause that and tell you thank you. Thank you, God, that you didn't leave us in the valley, that you did bring us out, God, like you promised you would. And God, just like Marvin Sepp said, we came out wiser and stronger and better. So God, in this place, these hornets buzz in, in uh, concerted harmony, and we say thank you. God, thank you so much for all that you have done. We appreciate you in this place, God. The committee, thank you for their hard work, their labor of love, God. Bless them, the hours that they spent away from their families to make this in the night for us to remember. Thank you. All the emails, all the text messages, thank you so much, Father. Now, God, as we celebrate each other, we don't forget to celebrate you. I pray, God, now that you will bless the food, make it be let it be nourishment for our physical bodies. And then, God, let this really do. Let it please be a night that we will always remember. And if it be thy will, we'll meet again in just a few more years to say thank you again. In Jesus' name. Come on, hug the person next to you real quickly. Come on, tell them it's for really it's good to see you. I'm glad you made it. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Come on, somebody ain't gonna make it to church. Why don't you just come on and tell somebody you love them.
may remember me as wearing glasses back in high school. The time and the technology has improved. <laughs> I no longer wear glasses, except for these tonight. In preparation for this 30th year class reunion, we wanted to, we, our endeavor was to make this a very special reunion. Um, 30 years is, 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 is a milestone. So one of the things that we did uh, for the planning of this reunion was to reach out to our mayor of the city of St. Louis um, to get a proclamation. And that is what I would like to share with you this evening. Office of the Mayor, City of St. Louis Proclamation. Whereas the O'Fallon Technical High School class of 1981 is observing its 30th year class reunion, and whereas members of this class valued their public school education, many alumni pursued higher education to enable them to become great leaders in society. Many served the country in the military. The class of 1981's contribution to society as a whole has been vast and immeasurable, and whereas the class of 1981 experienced diversity in technical trades and studied trades such as auto mechanics, business, commercial art, drafting, printing, cosmetology, and others allowing them to access great opportunities for future careers. And whereas many fond memories were had, including homecoming, senior trip, spirit day, prom, and evil simple activities, as sis uh, our sister Cesarine mentioned, like riding the bi-state bus, Kings, uh, Kings Highway bus. And whereas, though their alma mater is no longer in existence, they carry the legacy and the memory in their hearts. After 30 years, the flame and steel spirit is strong and flame, and the flame still burns. Now therefore, I, Francis G. Slade, Mayor of the City of St. Louis, do hereby proclaim September 3rd, 2011, as O'Fallon Technical High School Class of 1981 Day, Lewis. In witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and cause to be affixed the seal of the city of St. Louis this third day of September 80, 2011. And classmate, if you remember, we were the first class to graduate as a full-time high school for many, many years. With that being said, I think we should give ourselves a round of applause. Turn it over to Annette. And here's the proclamation, everyone. Good evening. I hope everybody's having a good time. You all look beautiful. I'm glad you all were able to make it. My name is Annette Ellison. Uh, some of you may not remember me, but when I was in school, freshman year, I dated Kevin Blake, and my name was Kevin Blake's girlfriend. <laughs> and then senior year, I dated Brian Brown, and then my name was Brian Brown's girlfriend. So you may remember me uh, that way. But my task here is to take a moment to remember our classmates who have gone on before us. This time has been set aside to remember those who have passed on. The Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Our memories of the days at O'Fallon